Question number 14. The capacities of two similar containers are 54 ml and 250 ml respectively. The difference in the heights of the two containers is 4 cm. Calculate the height of the larger container. So we're going to begin by noting what you're already given here. You're given the capacities of similar containers. So the moment you notice that you're talking about similar containers, uh, you should always think of similarity. And when you are solving questions on similarity and you're given capacity, you should notice that capacity capacity is the same as volume. So these two will give us the volume scale factor. This is the ratio volume scale factor, which is the ratio of volumes of two similar containers. So in this case, you have the larger container which has a capacity of 250 ml. So therefore, we are going to get a volume scale factor by using the volume of the larger container which is 250 divided by the volume of the smaller container which is 54 ml. So that is how we get the volume scale factor, the ratio of the volume of two similar containers. So we, need, we can simplify this by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2, we get uh, 120, 125 divided by 27. That is when you divide everything by 2. Now, there is something that you require to get. Uh, calculate the height of the larger container. Now, having volume scale factor, we need now to know how do we use the volume scale factor to get the height. The height is the length. And uh, in similarity, we get the length of two similar figures by using the linear scale factor. So linear scale factor is the one that is going to give us the height of the larger container. And this is the ratio of the heights or the length of two similar figures. In this case, the length are the heights. And you're given the difference in the height of two containers is uh, four centimeters. So we can let we can let the height the height of a bigger container be represented by x centimeters. Then since the difference in the height of the two is four, we can say the height of the small of the small container will be x minus four because the, the difference between them is four centimeters. So this will help us. Now, how do we obtain linear scale factor from the volume scale factor? You simply need to know this. This is very important that linear scale factor, linear scale factor is obtained by getting the cube root of the volume scale factor. This is very important. Linear scale factor is obtained by getting the volume scale factor. So in this case, uh, linear scale factor so linear scale factor will be obtained by getting the cube root of 125 divided by 27 and this one is quite easy because it will give uh, the cube root of 125 is 5 the cube root of 27 is 3 so the ratio of the height of these two similar containers will be 5 divided by 3 and this is a 5 represent the height of the bigger and then 3 represent the height of the smaller. So we can say because we let the height of the big container to be x, so the height of the bigger container which is x centimeters divided by the height of the smaller one x minus x subtract 4 should give us the linear scale factor which is the big over small. Notice that you're using the height of the bigger which is 5 is the linear scale factor by 3. Now when you work out these, we'll be able to get the height of the larger container. So you cross multiply, cross multiply these, x multiply by 3, this will give uh, 3x is equals to 5 times uh, x minus 4, this will give 5x, 5x minus 20, so we solve for x, 
uh, we take x together this will be 3 minus those will give uh, we take this one to this side it will give minus 2x is equals to negative 20 so you divide both sides by negative 2 and you get x to be 10 centimeters and remember that we let the height of the bigger container to be x and that is the question the height of the larger container therefore will be 10 centimeters